GSD was founded in 1989. Prior to this, the genesis of this idea of starting a school or training for the laity began at my home, number 40 Bloxham Drive in Serangoon Gardens. We had students to come who studied Greek with me, Bible subjects and so forth. From this simple beginning, we began a school that has a primary focus on the training of the laity. Over the past 20 years or so, the Lord has blessed BGST. We were excited at the way that the mission of BGST was working out. But at the same time, we had challenges concerning funding and uh, we also had challenges in which we had to be very careful to work around the busyness of the laity and make sure we could deliver quality training to people who were very busy with their work. Also, in our history, we had to move six times. We have now arrived at Kalang Pudding Road. We have a property that we own debt-free. As you know, we've moved to new premises at BGST recently and there have also been some new developments in the teaching we offer. There's a greater focus on spirituality in our programmes, spiritual formation, making the connection between theology and life. We've introduced a couple of different teaching styles too. We're offering many of our courses in blended learning format, where the teaching takes place by a blend of recorded lectures and live class sessions. Fairly soon it's going to be possible to take whole programmes online. But we're always going to maintain the aspect of personal contact. Now, the Singapore church scene is very varied and uh, BGST has no particular denominational affiliation. So we're able to address the needs of Christians from various uh, denominations. But because of the mission of BGST, the student body is also quite special. Um, you have, of course, some clergy, some in full-time church-related work, but many will be laity. There were a couple of people who served in the Singapore Armed Forces. There was a physics teacher, a lawyer. And there are professionals in, in the IT field, in the banking field, homemakers. Um, there are a couple of poets. Or counselors for counselling centres. But BGST's vision is to equip all of God's people for all of life. All along I could have read on my own, but what I really wanted out of this was to improve in terms of thinking theologically. And I think that's where the, the debate with the lecturers and tutors really helped and the smaller, more intimate class sizes really helped as well. But one of the things I've really enjoyed about BGST is the visiting lecturers. Uh, we've got people like uh, Dr. Alan Miller who did a, a course in archaeology recently. I enjoyed that very much because uh, he's been live at the dig sites and hearing from him has really enriched the whole experience. What I enjoy most about studying at BGST is the interaction with the other students. I really enjoy hearing their theology, their points of view and how they're using what they've learned. The teaching staff also encouraged me to adopt a very uh, open approach to appreciate uh, other viewpoints. Uh, they also encouraged me to read widely and that has uh, really forced me to go deep into different perspectives. Uh, uh, I've enjoyed reading about other church denominations and their histories. It's really benefited me in the work that I do as a research associate in a missions organisation. That work uh, really requires me to, to, to interface with uh, people from all kinds of denominations. I was a student here and then I went abroad for a number of years for further training in theology. Subsequently, I came back to Singapore and was with the faculty of teaching for a number of years. Currently, I am teaching in a different theological college and many of the students that I now teach are training to become pastors. Now what I have taken with me from BGSC into my new vocation uh, is that there's a necessity to take seriously, even in the training of pastors, um, Christian discipleship outside the church. What excites me is that I can see my former classmates and my present students 
bring whatever they have learned in BGST into the callings that God has put them into, whether it's here in Singapore or in Myanmar, in Indonesia, in Hong Kong or in India. It's been 13 years since I graduated from BGST and um, after graduating from here, I joined Grace Bible College. BGST plays a very big role in my being able to lead the organization, the theological scholarship, which I have learned at BGST, the emphasis. I am trying to emphasize on the same kind of uh, theological scholarship at Grace Bible College. Whatever I'm doing is a direct result from whatever I have learned from BGST. And in BGST, you have a family where the lecturers are most willing to help you to understand God's Word better in an environment that is embracing and also where you study your own pace. I remember vividly in one of the convocation, I witnessed a student's graduation which really touched my heart and gave me great encouragement. Because of his health problem, he walked slowly, talked slowly, and uh, he cannot even write properly. But when I see him watch up to the pulpit, tears come up from my eyes because I not only see him uh, receive the certificate from the principal, but I see him walking towards the cross to receive the prize from the Lord. I've been at BGST for 15 years now, and this is what keeps me here. The vision of BGST, the vision of a theological education made accessible to the whole people of God, to help them carry out their ministries, to help them fulfill their callings wherever God has placed them. Will you join us? Will you consider taking some courses at BGST? Will you consider supporting BGST financially? Will you pray for our work, as we at BGST often do? In whatever way you're able to help us,